Oh my goodness. I thought I would do uh, a live stream Christ Mass speech as I won't have time to pre-record and edit uh, when I get home because I need to cook lunch early today. And uh, so wishing you a very... <coughs> <coughs> wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Hope that you're having fun and that you're surrounded by loved ones and family. Um, also, blessings to everyone watching whose uh, religion isn't Christianity, who maybe doesn't celebrate Christ Mass in the same way. And I did a post about this uh, during the week on Telegram this uh, idea that Christ is the only way. I mean, Christ Jesus is my main man, so to speak, and I was brought up very much Church of England, but uh, I'm very much into faith and I very much respect all paths up the mountain. And I do believe it's quite divisive for us to say that Christ is the only way because uh, surely that <laughs> there are many ways. I mean, it kind of Christ is the only way sort of writes off uh, uh, Hinduism and Islam and Buddhism and all of the amazing Far East wisdom teachings and the I Ching and also um, spiritual beliefs. I don't even know if you'd call it a spiritual belief, um, but uh, spiritual beliefs like shamanism. Um, and of course, we look what happened when those that thought that uh, Christianity was the only way decided to sail across to, uh, from Spain to South America, the conquistadors, and tried to uh, imp impose their religious beliefs on uh, an entire native tribal population. So uh, many crimes have been committed in the, in the name of religion. And... Um, so really, I'm on here today just to wish you love and peace and joy. And um, just really visioning, this is my little vision for 2024. I am visioning a mass awakening of consciousness and it's already underway, there's no doubt about it. It's already underway. People are waking up. People are realizing that the system is very broken. People are looking at what's going on in Israel and Gaza and saying, well, like, why is no one stopping this genocide? This because absolute destruction and devastation. And I'm, I don't even want to take any sides. I'm always on the side of peace and awakening. Um, and maybe, maybe the wars have to get this bad for people to wake up. And people waking up to just the way that the system is systematically causing pain and suffering. I mean, just a very simple one. Uh, I noticed my Christmas shop at Sainsbury's, I normally go into a big Christmas shop. Last year it was something like 200 and something pounds. This year it was 300 and something pounds. I mean, the prices are skyrocketing and it's not going to go, it's not going to stop. Um, same with energy prices. I mean, insane. And it's like they are, and I'm talking about the corporate powers that be now that have managed to suck up all of the assets, all of the world's wealth. It's all owned by a very small group of people, a very small group of companies, BlackRock and Vanguard. All, um, uh, all of the media pretty much is owned and um, pumping out uh, relentless kind of propaganda. Hold on, I'm going to have to negotiate the road here. There's lots of Christmas walkers as well. Kobe, lead on. Yes, come on, lead on. That basically means me putting uh, his lead on as opposed to leading on. Hold on, I'm just going to, in fact, I'm going to head back this way. Come on, Kobe, let's go back this way. Come on, let's go this way. As I'm going to have to curtail the walk today. Oh my goodness. And pause. And breathe. Hi. Hi. Uh, see people thinking I'm a nutter. 
<laughs> There's a lot of tourists in Bakewell at uh, all times of year, but especially Christmas. You're going to have to bear with me a second. See, these are bits that I would normally edit out of uh, edit out of my videos. Kobe, this way, this way. They left that gate open. Shut that gate. Okay, seems to me like we we do need to go up over the road after all. I'm being drawn in that direction. He's just going to have to uh, bear with me on my little dog walk. Kobe, wait, wait. Come on. Let's close the gate. Make sure it's closed properly. And we have to wait for the cars. <clears throat> There's a super lovely dog on the other side of the road. Kobe's seen him. Let's just navigate this road. Hold on. He's just over friendly, trying to mount everything. And uh, oh my goodness, it's a little what would Christmas Day be without a little bit of peril? And breathe. Lots of ducks on the river. In fact, this river is really pretty overrun with birds and wild geese and ducks and breeding like crazy. Anyway, I'm digressing. Um, I think we've got uh, hello, I should say heaven-o actually, not hell-o, heaven-o to everyone who is watching and joining me on my little Christmas walk through Bakewell. And I'm doing this live because Hiya. More dogs, more people. Um, I'm doing this live because I won't have time to edit it when I get back home. So I really need to get going with the Christmas dinner cooking and to get the red cabbage on. I haven't done red cabbage for a while. It's looking up recipes. I haven't got any cranberries, but I'm thinking of putting goji berries in it. It's a grand experiment. This is for the boy, my vegan boys, or my vegetarian sons. So I'm in a situation where I have five sons, they're all at home for Christmas dinner. And uh, some of them are meat eaters, some are vegetarian, some are vegan. So I have to make sure all bases are covered. And I've, I'm very flexitarian these days, but I do prefer a vegetarian based food. I'd say probably 90% of what I eat is vegetarian. So uh, yes, I've decided to do red cabbage on a small scale, not for the whole meal, of course, but I do realize it's, up, it's one thing that needs to be put, needs to be started early. So it needs to simmer, it needs to braise for a long time, doesn't it? Anyway, so uh, more people. Hi. Hi. Uh, Hi. Hi. Gosh, some very miserable people around who just like, uh, you have to wonder whether they've been jabbed. Kind of like, almost like walking carcasses, like soulless, like, you know, like a kind of Jabberwocky zombies. The Jabberwocky zombies. Yes, so I don't know where I'm going with this, folks, uh, but just wanted to wish you a very Merry Christmas and um, really just praying for 
as I said earlier, a great awakening of, of consciousness because what truly needs to happen, given that the, all of the power is in the hands of a very small uh, group of people who are controlling these companies, these big corporations that are essentially behind the World Economic Forum, that own all the media, that own all of the infrastructure, that are busy putting in all the 5G, that will undoubtedly put in AI, everything, robotics, robotic policing. Um, what really truly needs to happen, and also, I forgot even to mention um, Big Pharma and uh, all of the protocols and interventions which, uh, you know, I do believe, uh, I have to be careful what I say, because I'm on YouTube, but uh, we need to be very aware of uh, all of the side effects um, and what is being caused and um, really looking to how we do health, you know, is the NHS truly about healing or is it about prescribing uh, big pharma medicines really? And uh, I'm very much into natural healing, shamanic healing, plant medicines, jungle medicines like Cambo is amazing medicine. If you want to heal something, have some Cambo. It's quite a strong uh, jungle medicine, but it's incredibly powerful at healing. At whatever's wrong, it will scan your body and it will heal every, anything that is out of alignment. So yeah, just questioning. So, so if we have an awakening of consciousness, what's going to happen is all of those who are upholding the system, who are cogs in the wheels of the system, who are kind of just following orders. I've got a whole load of pigeons here now. Pigeons. Come on. Um, everyone who's just following orders starts saying, hold on a minute, I'm not going to follow your orders anymore. And of course, this is the big, this is the big trap, isn't it? And we saw it with the whole uh, NHS, uh, with the with the uh, mandates back in two, two, uh, 2021, 2022. I'm trying to think. I went on a rally supporting that cause in Sheffield. I went with Dean, uh, with the, all of the NHS workers who were standing in their right to not uh, not have the jab, basically, because there was that no jab, no job policy that was coming in completely unlawful completely unlawful and uh, i was quite proud to be part of um you know the rally that uh, stood up against that to support the nhs workers hold on so, okay I'll be loose it's much easier when he's off the lead so i don't have to um struggle with him so much yeah so bravo to all those who stood in their rights and uh, force the government to back down. And that's the thing, if enough people stand up and say, no, we do not consent, then it's game over for these authorities. Um, I think I'm, I'll try and put the link to Larkin Rose's The Tiny Dot video. It's a great video about the power of the people. And I just wanted to talk a bit about common law, actually, while I'm on. And this is a, another great awakening of consciousness is uh, the realization the reclamation of our common law rights now just to correct a sort of misunderstanding around common law common law does not mean lawlessness basically if you are operating under common law you undertake to cause no harm injury or loss to your fellow man and woman and essentially it's god's law it's kind of biblical law really it's to do no harm and uh, in return for others to cause you no harm, injury or loss. But of course, what happens, who decides, you know, who decides what is harm, injury or loss? And the answer is very simple. In common law, a jury of 12 free ma men, free man and women of the land, um, who are completely independent of the situation. If you had 12 people completely independent of the situation, looking at all the evidence, hearing from both sides of the dispute, uh, what would they decide unanimously? And it also has to be realised under common law that uh, 
it's all about people and property, which is why the, the police oath is uh, the police oath is to defend people and their property. And why is that? And the reason is because your property is your prosperity. So if you own a van, go to work in your van, that van is part of your prosperity. If you own some land, that land is part of your prosperity. If you own um, a building, that building is part of your prosperity and, uh, and you have a right to defend your livelihood. So, um, so common law is about causing no harm, injury or loss to your fellow man or woman. It's not about lawlessness, which is basically, I'll do what the hell I like as long as I can get away with it. But equally, it is standing strong in the face of all of those authorities. And bear in mind, the word authorities comes from author. Uh, they are the ones who are writing the rules. Well, who gave them the authority to write the rules? Because in truth, it's the people who write the rules. It's the people that make the law. And through common law, through trial by jury, we decide what kind of world we want, collectively, as people. <clears throat> so it's a common law, reclaiming our common law rights and uh, a realisation of our common law rights really is about returning the power to the people. Um, so, oh, I'm just going to stand here for a second. by the waters, not the waters of Babylon, the waters of Bakewell. A lot of fallen trees here, a lot of high winds. The trees have come down, the, the river's very swollen. It's really beautiful to think that the uh, Crest Brook runs, the waters from the Crest Brook run into this river and they flow down here through Bakewell, out up to Hull should be down to Hull really, water flows downwards and into the North Sea. Kobe's having a little drink. So yeah, so that's what I'm praying for in 2024. I'm visioning an awakening of consciousness and I do believe that we are seeing the system crumbling before our eyes. I just heard the news. I don't really follow Trump and what's going on in America very closely apart from I am very interested in Marion Williamson and everything she's doing in her stand to become presidential candidate for the Democrat Party. I mean, doubt, doubt that. She, I mean, they are absolutely dead set on anyone uh, being elected to that nomination, apart from Biden, who is. Uh, I mean, he's too old for the job. Sorry to say that, folks. I'm not being ageist, but there comes a point when. Uh, I mean, I know she, she's uh, 70, 74, um, no, 72. She will be 72 next year because she is an, uh, she's a 1952 dragon. And I'm a 1964 wood dragon. And next year is the, is the year of the wood dragon. So it is a, a dragon year. But... um. So the Democrat Party have tried to stop anyone else, um, tried to stop the party from voting from anyone apart from Biden in certain states like Florida. Um, and now the latest thing in the Republican Party, um, well actually it's not in the Republican Party, it's the uh, state of Colorado has basically said that um, they will not allow Trump to be on the election ticket. And so essentially they have, so the system, and this is judges who are all voted in by the uh, Democrat party, have essentially uh, di are dictating to the people who they can and can't vote for. Because ultimately, if the people want uh, Trump as their president, then uh, that is the decision. We the people, and it's we the people who decide under the constitution of America, uh, who they want as their president. Uh, it's not for a few, a handful of judges all voted in by the Democrat party. Hold on, I think I'm gonna have to. Kobe, Kobe, here. Oh, he's getting good, better at coming back now. Good boy. Here he comes. 
doing his little... Where's he going now? Anyway, I think I'm going to have to call this to an end. But yes, just to say, it's clear as the kind of Wichiko, the command control system, is ever more clearly showing its face, just showing us just how little power the people have, how we've just given it away bit by bit over the years. And it's time to reclaim that power, to reclaim, <coughs> the, reclaim the power of the people. And we're going to do that through really, really standing in our common law rights. Anyway, a very merry Christmas to everyone who's watching. Sending you so much love. Hope you have a wonderful day. I'm going to head home now and uh, start trying to work out how to do this red cabbage. Have got a turkey breast, got some chipolatas, some streaky bacon, going to wrap that round, going to do some carrots and parsnips, kind of buttered, roasted, roast potatoes, stuffing, all that kind of thing. And so <laughs> trying to cover all bases and maybe some lentil and mushroom bake as well for the vegetarian contingent. Anyway, lots of love and uh, have a great, have a great festive season. Okay, let's work out how to switch this off. Okay, bye for now.